My name is Lynn Jarman. I'm the therapy supervisor at Leon S. Peters Rehab Center. Today we have the exoskeleton from Exobionics demonstrated. Um, we had a physical therapist walking in it. It's a device that enables spinal cord injured patients, stroke patients, brain injured patients to go from sitting to standing, to ambulate, to turn around. It's the first technology that really enables a patient to freely ambulate with robotics. We're researching the exoskeleton for technology here at Leon S. Peters Rehab. It would be the first of that type here in the Valley and something that our patients could really benefit from. Well, really almost any diagnosis could truly benefit, but I think it, it is most applicable to the spinal cord injured, stroke patient, brain injured patient, but it really just has to do with their strength and, and what they're demonstrating. It's for the physical therapist to clinically assess and, and determine which patients it would be appropriate for. I thought it was gonna feel really heavy, but it just felt like it was part of my body and it would help advance my legs one at a time as long as I weight shifted enough. I think this gives us an opportunity to take some patients to the next level. We haven't had this type of technology available to us here in the Valley with some of our patients with spinal cord injury. We can also use it with uh, the CBA or stroke population to help get them more upright and hopefully transition them to living in a more upright manner. There are many benefits to being more upright. It does help with uh, improving their cardiovascular system, their digestive system, musculoskeletal system, and there is some hope for the future that they could maybe carry on their lives in a more upright position. At least this gives that opportunity to get them more upright and weight-bearing, um, which would have been very difficult before. This has only been a, started to become available in the last couple of years. I believe there's only three rehab centers in California that actually have this technology available to them. Community Regional Medical Center is always looking to improve how we do things. They're also looking to new ways, new technologies that might be available. This was something that wasn't available five years ago on a user friendly level. This was something like you thought about science fiction. Now this is can become our reality. We know that it comes at a cost. It's also something that I think could bring us to the forefront of this type of technology in the valley.